Hey guys, Josh at Baintech. This is a setup video for when you first get the Galaxy S4. I have activated this device on the Verizon network, and this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to show you the boot up. Go ahead and turn that on, let you guys see what it looks like. And then we'll talk about the setup process and what all that entails. Get a nice little elegant Samsung boot logo. The Verizon boot logo comes right after that. Now when you first activate it, it takes a little bit longer than what that just did. But I'm going to zoom on in and let you guys see what the setup looks like. Alright, the first screen you're going to get is your language selection. And it'll continue with the setup wizard. It'll give you the Verizon welcome screen basically, tell your phone number, and talk about your data usage. And here's a setup wizard that'll help you guide to back up your contacts, set up your email, location preferences. Alright, you have the choice of syncing your contacts with Verizon. So just do what you feel fit to do. Some people like it, some people don't. I primarily use all my contacts with Google. Alright, now you have the option to set up uh, some of your email accounts and whether it's corporate, Yahoo, AOL, Windows, Verizon.net and others and your Gmail will be set up in another step and I'm gonna go ahead and skip all that there's not really an account I want to set up at the moment and this is your location sharing and data use and I'm gonna go ahead and agree and you have Verizon Mobile you can empower the account to check your balance, check usage and payments. And this is where you're going to set up your Google account. Uh, one of the things I liked about this is that you have a number pad right at the top so you actually don't have to press a, like a symbol or anything like that. You can actually type right at the top for any kind of number. So I'm going to go ahead and log into my account and be right back with you. And the next step is just basically to sign in and give permissions. Google Play. Let it do its thing. You can restore account on this phone and keep it backed up as well. And you can restore, which I am going to do. And that's basically going to help with any kind of apps that you had on an Android device previously. Contacts, all that good stuff. And Google and location, I'm going to hit yes. I like location services. And this is the complete setup wizard. And just hit done. And if you have a Samsung account, you can go ahead and sign in with that. And just let it sign in once you get all your credentials in. And here we are to the home screen of the Galaxy S4. That is the setup. Um, you can go into settings and get some more um, options going. Uh, you'll have to sign into your Play Store, email accounts, um, any kind of social networking, and all that fun stuff. So this is how you set up the Galaxy S4 to start out with. More videos to come, more setups with different apps and different functions. So stay tuned to Bain Tech. Until then, this is Josh of Bain Tech. I'll see you in the next video.